Who has had the most plastic surgery? No one even looks that plastic surgeried up. Oh. Maybe homegirl. Either that or she's just blessed. I'll say maybe like a reconstructive lip one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think your boobs are natural though. I'm gonna say something the way they like move. Something the way they move. Dun da 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 by assessing appearances. Oh, this is so weird. They aren't allowed to mention their procedures until the final reveal. Okay. I do love seeing just like gorgeous humans and I'm like, wow, they're gorgeous. And you just think they were born that way and then it's genetics just really screwed you over. And then they're like, oh, I got this, 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 this done. And you're like, oh, so it is obtainable. I think you've had a boob job. So that's gonna be at least one plastic surgery. Yeah. A butt lift? Maybe like a little cheek lift or face to face. Oh, she's definitely had her lips done. I'll say a butt lift. Like a liquid rhino, because like. I feel like she hasn't had any. What is a liquid rhino? Her skin is perfect. Yeah, but your nose is so like perfectly shaped. I don't know if you've had that many. You, I think you might just be God's favorite. I mean, yeah, I think she's just blessed. It's so good they know they thought I was cute. Your nose and your chin. I could see nose. And maybe. And cheek yeah, I think cheek, cheek filler. Maybe. maybe some cheek. I don't want to say breast augmentation, but so many people have their boobs done. I could see nose. I also have a feeling maybe she's gotten like her boobs done, and that's why she's wearing a baggy shirt. I don't know. Unless you're hard read. Something. All right. Breast augmentation. Yeah. yeah, maybe that. Maybe something. I think she could have nose. Just a really good nose Body job. Wise, her nose is like, so symmetrical. Lipo, a talk. That was interesting. I'm a pretty like modest person and I don't try to draw attention to myself. Wow. Oh, your eyes are gorgeous. I yeah. Did not notice that. Thank you. Y'all making me blush. He's had Botox. <laughs> like he has no wrinkles. I do not think you've had. Dude, I actually, everyone, I'm just guessing. I don't think anyone's is obvious. Any notable cosmetic plastic surgery. Well, I'll say BBL. Oh, yeah, yeah she's Maybe got a BBL. booty. Maybe some Filler. chest. Yeah. Oh, she's had, actually, she's had a lot done. I think she's had a bunch of filler in her face. Her forehead is like perfect. Um, some breast augmentation. Your nose and maybe your jawline. More on the more surgery sign. You know what? I was very flattered that people were questioning whether I had a lot of plastic surgeries that I did not have. I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. Maybe she doesn't. That's a cute and fun moment. I love that for me. <laughs> yeah, it's it's actually kind of flattering if people look at you and they're like, have you gotten your nose done? You know, and you're like, oh, no, I just have a perfect nose. I think you have a nose job. I think so too. Like a chin surgery? I'm not sure if it's like like a lipo or like a reconstructive one, but something I'll like say that. Maybe like a reconstructive lip one? Mm hmm Yeah. I think your boobs are natural though. Maybe. They look <laughs> The group must now attempt to rank themselves from least to most plastic surgery. Oh my gosh. We said you probably most? Yeah. I'm gonna be the anchor over here. I'm gonna put myself I feel in the like middle. You've had the least. Really? Wait. You think Wait. I've had the least? I think she's had the least too. Maybe you've had the least. I'll go here. I think that you should be towards that end. I, I don't. I don't think you've had as much plastic surgery. Okay. We have to switch. Okay. I think Kelly higher. Higher? Yeah. Than me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think you should come. Yeah, right there in the middle. I definitely think I've. Had Kelly? I don't think Kelly's had that much. You think Kelly is the third? I had more than you, though. Yeah? You yeah. So? Let's, I do agree that you... I like her being honest, where she's like, I think I've had more than you. Which is good, because people, like, should yeah, just be honest. Good. I'll just be in the middle right here. I think I might move you up. Okay. I think above... All right. Think above me? Oh, but now... Oh, wait, but now I don't know... It doesn't matter. This isn't even the final. I mean, I only said one for you, so... You think oh, it's only okay, one? Okay, two. Two. Do you think we should? I think we should. Okay. Okay. Now I want to, I just want to know what everyone got. The group will now share their backgrounds and experience and see if it arranges the rankings. Oh. How dangerous do you think it is to get a BBL? I would say it definitely influenced my decision when I was like researching it. That's all I'll say. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say it influenced my decision. Maybe we should move you down the line then. 
because of like the high prevalence now, I don't think it's as dangerous as it used to be. If you were a girl, your answer would have made me move you more in this direction. Okay. But I also think that your answer leads me to believe that you have had more plastic surgery. Yeah, than I, I think. agree. I was surprised, but oh, you know, it would be would we be um uh. I forgot what I was saying. I'm not surprised that I was the only male here, but once again, like the whole stigma of plastic surgery. Okay, so I what, what does saying. everyone do for a living? I own a business, e-commerce. I work in porn. Nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. I make porn. I own a beauty school. I'm an actress and I do digital marketing. I'm a pastor. I'm a student and fashion designer. So now I work at an ice cream shop, but I was at a strip club. I'm a student. I think that Me? you should be, you should move two spaces down. Why do you think that? Because you're a stripper. stripper. Mm -hmm. Well, I just said strip club. I was actually a shot girl. You having worked in a sex industry space makes you more likely to have gotten plastic surgery. I think that if I Fair. was not making a living off of social media, I wouldn't have gotten plastic surgery. It's not something that I regret at all and I'm not gonna be upset. Yeah, to anybody could have like been in an I'm accident or when something like that where they have to have reconstructive did insurance surgery. Covery, or did you pay for it? Mine was covered. For the most part mine was covered. I had partial. Oh partial. Well, now I feel like I should go on your other side. Yeah. Switch. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you and I should switch then. Yeah Does I don't think she, I feel like she's had like none. I feel like she just has had like Botox. I feel like that's like, like it for her. We're all like, hmm. <laughs> I do. I do. Wait. Oh, she had kids, so she's probably had a tummy tuck. No, because oh. this changes everything. Those look natural. Those look like naturally big ones. How old is everybody? I'm 30. I'm 33. 28. 23. 25. 21. 30. 20. What age was Wow, it? she looks so good for 30. When they got like their first or their only? The first time that I got plastic surgery, I was 29. Oh, so recently. Mm -hmm. I was 30. Alex, thank you for the 11. 21. 19. I was 20, like five days away from being 21. 19. I was 29, so one year ago. Oh, uh, I was 20 and I'm still 20. Um, I was under 24 months. You might also oh, be third. Two. Third. Let's go. I think you only had just one. Yeah. Why would they move? They think she's only had one. Uh, it sounds like she she must have had facial reconstructive surgery if she had it like at 24 months. I feel like you don't just have one surgery. You have like a ton. Come on down. No way. Has anyone experienced? They never do that in one go. Stigma or stereotypes based on their choice of A lot of people. I still think that Asian people get. I don't think she's had that much surgery. I feel like. This girl's had more surgery. Surgery to look whiter, and I don't think that's true. It's the most untrue stereotype, and... I didn't know that was a stereotype. I think it really sucks. <laughs> Plus, there's different beauty standards in Asia, so to be saying that you look like a white person just doesn't make any sense either, so... I honestly think that if I were to get plastic surgery in the future, or if, you know, anyone were to, I don't think Eurocentric beauty standards should be held to a point where, where they should. It should be to the most of where they feel comfortable um, and not letting those standards, you know, influence them as much. It's it's a hard thing though. I feel like like when we see people, like I don't see people with like facial features like me very often in, in Hollywood and American media and things like that. Thank you for the seven months. The stigma. For sure I do, cause you know, I'm a mom. So like the first thing my, my family's like, no, like I should just be worried about my children and you know, the risks that are involved, they didn't want me to go under. I sometimes feel that guilt. Did I make the right choice doing okay, that? Okay, she's definitely had a boob job chat. There's no world. If you've had, if you have boobs that big and you've had kids, they would not be that high. They would be was low. Was I being selfish when I did that? They would I needed not to be happy. for myself. Kids after boobs, I didn't boobs like after kids the person suck. that I was looking at every time I look in the mirror. Would anyone get more, I guess? No. I would get more. I wouldn't. I would say just because of what I learned, I wouldn't do it again. Oh, you know what I bet she did? I bet she got a boob job and then she got it removed. That happens a lot in what I've experienced myself. But what did you learn? The self-love part. Oh, that's, that's yeah. really sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I purposely just went it because I don't have the fundage for that. So I, mean, I would do another surgery. Yeah. Mine was more of a medically informed decision. I think it's something. Oh, I wonder if she, you know how like some people have to have, um, like if they have that cancer gene um, that like is more likely to have breasts uh, surgery they sometimes have to get like uh uh breast augmentations i wonder if that's what she had thing that i 
considered prior to some information, um, but thought, oh, I would. Yeah, BRCA gene. I bet she got them removed and in her mind, the thing she would consider is getting them like redone. Wait, cancer can force breast augmentations? There's a certain gene that if you have it, uh, you're kind of like encouraged to get a mastectomy um, because then um, it uh, you're less likely to get breast cancer. Tony, thank you for the five months. Sleeping for life, thank you for the two years. I would never do that. And then when I was presented different facts about my body, I chose to do certain things. I think that the two of you should switch because the way that you're talking about all of this, I think you have only had plastic surgery done once and I feel like you might have had two procedures. Whatever reason you got plastic surgery might have been something ongoing that resulted in you getting procedures in two different spans of time. No, she's only had one for sure. And maybe let's adjust and move you up to the second in line, I think. Let's do a little switch around. I, I think she's had like two, two things done. Like you should go in front of Emma though. Let's be buddies. No, she's just had one thing. I disagree, but we'll go. I think I need to go back down, guys. Oh, I think she's before me. I really do, yeah. I would switch to two. Yeah, I believe her. She's had one thing done for sure, for sure. Hey, okay. Okay. I'm good with this. Now they have to rearrange. Eight spot, we have Ahmad. Oh, there he goes. I knew it. <laughs> also, with one surgery, we have Jordan in the same spot. But if it's one surgery, how are you arranged them? I guess it doesn't matter. Two surgeries, we have Jessica in the same spot. Yeah, she was, she was trying to help. Okay. In fifth, Amber with three surgeries. In fourth, Sabrina, also with three, but tied. Oh, what the heck? And third, Kelly with five. And second, Emma with ten. <laughs> and first... I told you guys, and they put her all the way down there. Also, why didn't she help at all? Why wasn't she like, oh yeah, I've had like 20 surgeries, I should be up here. Well, obviously she can't say 20, but she should have just been like, I should be up here. She did not help the team. Cassidy with 15. What? Whoa. <gasps> you know what? That should have clicked earlier. I had a major septo septoplasty. Uh, so I had a deviated septum. Um, and also, like, there was, like, a growth. So they had to just, like, adjust my septum. Ugh. I had a breast reduction in 2021. So I went from a size 30J to... Oh, like, my gosh. E now. Wow. So. Holy moly. Your back would feel so much better. Holy moly. Yeah, my back was hurting all the time. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. In 2020, I found out that I have a genetic mutation called BRCA2. Oh, uh, yeah, I see, that's it. I learned about this after my mom and my aunt both had breast cancer. Last year, I had a preventative double mastectomy. And then this February, I had reconstructive surgery. I found out that through my health. Oh. Yeah, we called that. Uh, yeah, it's super scary. Care provider, they only do 10 preventative surgeries like that in a year. It was an emotional journey, but yeah, it sounds one that I look back on and I'm so proud hard. that I did what I did. I had breast augmentation and then just last month I got it taken out. As time goes by, I see all these- Oh, I told you, I called that too. She got her boobs done and then she got it taken out. Confident women with no boobs, I made that impulsive decision like, hey, I want these out. I'm engaged now. I don't need this look. I don't work in a strip club anymore. So I got a mommy makeover almost two years ago. I got a breast lift and a tummy tuck. And about four months ago, I got a breast augmentation. Okay, so my first- Dude. That's crazy. First procedure was the double eyelid surgery. Then after that, I got my jaw um, shaved. And oh. then my third- Jaw shaving sounds so painful one and was the buccal fat removed. They are natty, I was right. No, you're literally wrong. She got a breast lift and then she got an augmentation. They are all natty. No, they're not. Guys, do you not want, do you guys not know what an augmentation is? Removal. I'm happy that you And then the fourth one was a uh, laser lipo. I got it done, I regret it. And then the fifth one is Kybella to try to revise it. Kybella, filler, basically all over my face. And then all at once, I got jawline, lipo, buccal fat removal, 360. 
Man, buccal fat. I want buccal fat removal. I'm not. The lipo, you. arm lipo, and then I got it all injected into my ass with the BBL. <laughs> I was born with a bilateral cleft lip and palate, so I've had 15 total revisions. I had a bone graft when I was 12. I had oh, double ouch. jaw surgery when I was 15. I have cheek implants and I had liposuction under my jaw. Wow. My boobs are natural. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Everyone has a face. Mine didn't form correctly. I was born with a birth defect. I don't know what I look like. I get to almost kind of help create that and be my Whoa, most ideal self. Whoa, that's so interesting. If you are like, not feeling good, like let people know. Like if you need um, a surgery that could be considered elective or it's a plastic surgery, like you're your best advocate, you're uh, your own advocate. Keep making um, an yeah. effort to make yourself Get feel at like your best surgery. and don't let anything take its take its toll on you. I think if you're considering that guy's on my getting side. a surgery done, make sure to research, research, research. Oh. But my boobs are natural mm -hmm. as well. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy.